I think, are we live? Let me check and make sure. Hello. We are doing our day four paint challenge. So let me make sure we're live real quick. Mm -hmm. If you hop on, say hello. So I know you're here. Okay, we're live. We're live, just making sure because, you know. How are you guys? So we are on day four of our paint challenge. Um, remember that I'm giving you five days, a sneak peek into the VIP group. So um, I thought it would be fun. I was gonna do the 30 day paint challenge inside the VIP group and then I thought, well, I want the main page to have some fun in this. And so I'm giving you guys the first five days free. Um, and the VIP group is only 27 bucks a month. So they're gonna get all 30 days. Let me show you what we've done so far. I did, if you're on the email list, I did just send out an email that had these tracers in them. Not sure how you missed the painting stuff that you wanna learn. Miss Cindy, you are in the right place. I mean, sometimes we learn together because I'm trying it out, but you are definitely in the right place. So we did this day one. These tracers have all been emailed to you um, if you're on my email list, and I will make sure to email them again tomorrow, okay? So this was day one, which is probably my least favorite, but it's still super, super cute. I just would have done probably the background a different color on that one. That's the only thing on that one. This is day two. This was so, so cute. We learned a lot of stuff on this one. And we had some mess ups and we just kind of incorporated it into our painting. So, you guys, these are not perfect. These you can do. And then we did this one yesterday, which is so stinking adorable. And I had to put glitter on it because that's what I do. Isn't it so cute? So, I have day four and day five for you. This is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna paint a cute little gnome. And then tomorrow, day five, is this mailbox. And then let me actually, I will also show you a sneak peek of what the next 30 days are actually going to look like inside the VIP group. So I'm gonna get, show you some of their templates, but you don't get these templates unless you're in the VIP group. So you should totally be in the VIP group. Let's go ahead and trace this because I like to just get rid of that excess when I'm trying to copy it down. You like the lovebirds? Aren't they adorable? Oh, those aren't the scissors I want to use. Those are good scissors. Not paper scissors, that's for sure. All right, so now it just won't be hanging over when I try to trace it. Use my stylus. Oh, it's downstairs. Darn it. I don't think they are here. They're downstairs. I went and cleaned my craft room the other day so I can start going live down there, downstairs again. Um, just for something different. Okay, this is adorable. Let's go ahead and put our tracer on. Reagan is here, so she is running the laser right now, so it might be a little noisy, but that's okay. You're still gonna be able to hear me. Okay, so when you use your tracers, I mean, that's literally all it is. You're just gonna trace it, ooh, I don't know why I did it like that, with graphite paper on to your canvas. And then that gives us like a coloring book on our canvas piece. You just color in the lines. I mean, that's basically what it is. So you, you guys can color. I know everybody can color. And so you can definitely do this. You can paint. All right, let's go ahead and do this. This one isn't making as much noise, which is good. Not too much like fingers on a chalkboard. This one is a little bit, um, a little bit more detailed. So each of the paintings that we do inside the VIP group, they're gonna vary on um, like skill level. We're gonna probably do some that are pretty hard. I'm gonna show you here in just a second. Some of them that I'm like, drew it out and sketched it out. And then I'm like, oh wow, this one's gonna be hard. 
So, but it's going to be fun. And you guys can watch me do it and learn together. Okay. I don't know for sure if I'm going to do all of these. Um, I'm not going to trace all of the lines. And I'm going to show you how we're going to attempt that. Because that's a lot. If you want to trace all the lines, you can. But... So we're gonna, or I'm, I'm sorry, I meant the um, stems. So let's do the heart, but we won't do all the feathers or the leaves. We're gonna layer them in. So we're gonna use a combination on this painting, a combination of watercolor and acrylic and painted. So we're gonna do it all on this one. I just am not a great watercolorer, and so I'm, we're gonna try it. Oops, that went a little far down. We're gonna try it and play with it. I mean, I've used watercolors before, but not a ton. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's super cute. All right, so this is what we're gonna, this is what it's gonna look like. Isn't that cute? So, so cute. That's just kind of the vision that I had. And I'm gonna tell you the vision I, that I had on every single one of these. It's really interesting that it happens this way. It's uh, going to lunch with a friend. Well, I hope you enjoy your lunch, Rita. Um, Cindy, yes, we can definitely send you the link to the group. Um, my vision of these, sketching them out and drawing them, turn, was completely different than my vision bringing it to life. So I want you to consider what that is telling you. That someone yesterday just had some gel pens and they were doing this one along with me because they didn't have their paints. And she posted a picture inside the creative group and it was so cute. And so her vision was completely different with a different medium. So she took, you know, this tracer and you don't have to do it just like me. Just do it the way that feels comfortable for you and you're gonna learn so much stuff along the way. If you have pens, use pens. Um, so it's just interesting that they always seem to turn out um, a little bit different. All right, so this is today, this is gonna be tomorrow. Do you wanna see some sneak peeks of, before we get started real quick of what else they're gonna be getting inside the VIP group? Um, so if you want to learn how to do some of these, then um, you guys should join us over there. This one may be a little bit difficult. This is one that um, definitely won't use watercolor on. <laughs> Debbie, you're in love. Um, definitely not going to use watercolor on this one just because I'm not a professional watercolor. But this one I cannot wait to bring to life. Cannot wait. Oh, look at this cutie. I wanted to do a flamingo for summer. Remember, we are doing all the seasons. We're gonna do some winter, some summer, um, 4th of July. I have some cool, isn't the bike awesome? But we got a little flamingo with a drink. Here's a St. Patrick's Day heart. We can do that one. So that one will be soon. Look at this cute little mushroom. Whimsical mushroom. This isn't all of them, okay? Look at the macaroons. Oh, I cannot wait to do this one. This one, I we're going to do all watercolor on this one. So I'm super excited for that one. That one's probably my favorite. This one probably doesn't look like much right now, but it's going to be full of grass. I'm going to teach you how to put the grass behind the, um, before we put our tracer on. And then we're going to paint him over to her over top. So that's going to be cute. And this is a little Easter bunny with a carrot. And then it's gonna have the, like the fronds of the carrot or whatever you call them. You can taste those macarons, aren't they? Macaroons. Um, so that was, um, let's see, we're doing 30 days. This is day four, this is day five. I'm just gonna count six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So there's only 12 that I've shown you and there's gonna be 30. Oh my gosh. I will say that I told the VIP group, I was like, so this is a 30-day challenge. 
but it might take me more like 45 because <laughs> that's a lot here's some colors I'm gonna use and I might make a little bit of teal um, because I'm I like the green but I'm thinking we're gonna have some teal as well actually those are the colors I want all right these are our heavy bodied acrylics and that's just the fancy word for them. They're just acrylics that are thicker. And instead of getting them in the craft department, you get them in the, um, by the canvas. Let's get some paint brushes out here because we don't need big ones. Let's see. We'll try those. And then maybe we'll, I mean, we might have to go thinner. I have a liner brush. I don't think we're gonna use this one though, but we're gonna keep it out just in case. Okay, are y'all ready? Let's see. However, I don't know what color I wanna do the back, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and put white on the back. I don't have a lot of white here, so I may have to use actual craft acrylic on this. But I think since we're watercoloring, um, you're going to use a lot less paint. It's going to take a lot less paint. That's probably too much, but I'm going to paint the background a little bit more of a solid. That's why I use that much. So. We're gonna go ahead and do that first. And it's okay if you go over your um, tracing, okay? Because you're gonna be able to see through it. I actually should have used regular acrylic on this part. We're gonna save that to mix some of our colors in, okay? I don't want to mix, if I want to make one of these lighter, I don't want to mix um, this regular acrylic paint with it. I want to mix that with it. So let's see. Now we may do some other, oops, <laughs> dipped it in the wrong one again. Um, we may do some other colors on the background. I don't know. I think we're going to put it together and then we're just going to kind of see how we feel and what we want to do along the way. Okay. We're just going to cover the whole thing. Because honestly, thinking about it, if you don't cover the whole thing, it's going to be different when you put watercolor on it. So like if we sprinkle watercolor back here, it's going to blend a little bit more than it would blend on this canvas that doesn't have anything so you either don't trace don't cover anything or cover it all is I guess what I'm saying all right let's see let's dry this up and then let's see how we can bring it to life a little bit more this is going to be adorable I think it is Let's do this. You guys, I remember. Can you do the background before you do the tracers? Absolutely. But if you do that, you're still gonna get graphite paper then on your paint and you still have to cover up maybe those spots or erase them and so I just do it after. But you can totally do it before. Um, okay, let's see. Some of these aren't open. I haven't even used them yet. Isn't that funny? I've used almost all the white and none of the other colors. So we just need a tiny bit. Do you see that? Because remember, we're going to make these watercolors. Oh, that's even way too much. That's way too much. Let's see. 
I really don't know what colors I'm gonna use. We're just gonna kind of play with all of them and see what happens. Maybe. And then we have one more yellow. I Like that is way too much paint. So we're gonna just kind of line this right here. Okay. Now, I'm just gonna get some water. This isn't perfect. Okay, you don't really want to hold the canvas like I just did because it definitely will leak. So we're gonna, I don't know if I'm doing this right or not, you guys. Like I said, we're gonna figure this out together. So I did this, I was in a creative funk, you know, I, I just have been. And so I was like, what can I do? I gotta do something to get out of the creative funk. I mean, and that's how this was born. Cause I figured, okay, well let's just do it together. There is probably too much pink on that side for me, but we'll see. Yes, that's way too much. Not the look I want to go for, so we're just going to take a baby wipe and just dab, okay? Because that's what I have is a baby wipe. Oops. And I think it works, so. Do you see how much very little paint I used? Now, we could make this darker along one edge, you know what I mean? Just kind of move some color in there. There's too much on that spot too. There we go. I'm gonna tell you right now that watercolor is definitely different than acrylic and craft paint for sure. I feel like that's too much in there, but let's just see. Let's add a little bit of water to it and blend it out some. I feel like this is definitely going to be harder than well, just more work, I guess. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know if I like it, but we're going to see. I kind of want to give up on the watercolors already. We're going to see how it works, though. What's to the left of her? So, it's a bunch of little stalks that have just heart tops and we're gonna um, paint um, leaves on them we're gonna do this one darker
you know, Reagan, mm -hmm. we'll probably be able to wash our car in like a couple of days because it's going to be nice. I was thinking about that today. <laughs> I also saw that. My car is filthy. I also saw, I will say though, the rain did wash off my car. A bit. <laughs> that's so, funny. That's probably just going to be my car wash. That's funny. I mean, I get that. <laughs> Uh, then I just go down the dirt road the next day. That's true. No point. That's true. Mm -hmm. So I went and messed with that and messed it up. So sometimes just leave things alone. Apparently, when it comes to watercoloring. You know what I think you would be good at? What? Have you seen the watercolor, the watercolor colored pencils? No. They're colored pencils and you like put them in the... If you get That's them. cool. I haven't seen them. You'll have to send me like... They're like Crayola colored ones. That's cool. I know, Debbie, it does look like a lot of shading and I'm not a girl that does that. I just want to try different techniques and when we did our mindset Monday yesterday I was giving you guys ideas to get out of your creative funk and so that's basically what I'm doing for the next month let's see okay her bow is cute so maybe oh that's her hat wait 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 her bow is super cute though, so this needs to be pink. Look, we fixed that. So there is overlapping between watercolor, a little bit of bleeding. And I'm assuming because if your canvas is too wet, it's gonna make your watercolors bleed a little more okay i like her hat or her her bow looks cute right yeah okay uh, yeah. maybe it will turn out cute i'm not sure how this is gonna look you guys <laughs> debbie well thank you you're thinking that you're in trouble with this one so here's the thing, just because I used watercolor on my version, I mean, I've shown you guys regular paint, I've shown you how to use your pens, like you don't have to do this one watercolor, even though that's what I'm showing you. I mean, yes, it does help you learn new things, but we all have steps with that. I mean, I definitely have some that I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one live. Like the bicycle one. But I think it's gonna turn out really cute. Did you see the others I showed them? What ones? The, they're for the next 30 days. Remember I'm doing five. There's only like 12 here. Look at the, the bike, isn't that cute? Yeah, I like that. Look at the flamingo. Oh, that's and then here's a little heart with the shamrock, a mushroom. I like that. <laughs> this one reminds me of like 70s yeah. vibe. Macaroons, macarons, however you pronounce them. An Easter bunny in a wagon. What else? An Easter bunny with a carrot on its head. Yeah. And this is only 12. <laughs> we are doing 30 of them. Oops. I'm going to put it in my... Love to see a gnome in the tracers. I'm glad you like it. Okay, and the camera, it doesn't look that bad. So maybe it's not really. <laughs> I don't know. What do we do next? We need to do his beard. So, I'm gonna have to use a tad bit of gray. 
I don't have gray in that, so I'm going to have to use a gray regular acrylic paint, but that's okay. We can still water it down and use it like other watercolors. And these are acrylic, they're not even watercolors. Oh, thank you, Debbie. How about a little mouse with a piece of cheese? That would be adorable. Reagan, can you text me that? Yeah. Mouse with a piece of cheese. That would be really cute to do. What if you dried the neck, dried the colors next to it before you moved to a different color? Yes, that would stop the bleeding. Yep. I'm just not doing that right now. Because I'm okay with it. I'm just learning. And so I'm going to keep figuring it out. That's cute. Okay. The beard. And then the nose. Let's water this down. There is not much here. Got way too much on my brush there. Okay. So definitely on a piece like this, you know how when we've used the watercolor or the regular acrylics, I told you that you can paint over it and you're not going to see the uh, tracer marks, but you're going to on this one. So this is where we're going to just use our paint pen at the end and do like our scribble technique, kind of outline him, and it'll help cover up the tracer marks. The heck is in my paint there? Okay, I know you probably can't see it too much on the camera, but there is white down. But now I want it to have some dark in it. So let's see how we do that with watercolor. So Robin, we are gonna dry it now because it'll make it bleed the least. So I still want the gray on the top to have the watercolor look, but I don't want it like lines. I want it like shaded. So we're gonna have to get just a little bit of gray. Can you guys see that? Now here's the thing, you could do um, brown here. You don't have to do the white beard with like gray in it. Oh, that's cute. I'm just softening up these lines a little bit. Okay. Oh, I think that's cute. Is it hard to see? It isn't in person. That's going to be cute with the rest of the painting around him. Thank you, Robin. Awesome. I got Robin that texts me a reminder and Reagan that texts me the reminder. So I should not forget about it. But knowing me, I'll probably still forget about it. That might be a lot of fun to do with the mouse with the cheese. That would be fun. All right, let's go ahead and do a, the gray. This little spade, whatever. This little gardening tool. So one of the things that you can do with shading is like, see, I lined that whole side. So now we're just gonna drag it fill in the rest 
but you have the shadowing on that side. So for me, I think I'm doing this backwards. Mm, no, I guess it doesn't matter. I always put my shadow on the left side. I think so. Yeah. Just know that whatever way you do your shadow, you need to do it the same all across. Like you don't want some shadows on your right side, some shadows on your left side. You gotta do them all. Let's do, thinking of that, let's put a little shadow on this side of his beard and make it a little bit darker. There we go. Oh my goodness, I love it. You guys, this is gonna turn out cute. See, it's always, it always goes through that awkward phase where you're like, I am not gonna like this. Okay, we need a brown now. I definitely need more of these if I'm going to start using more of them. Definitely, definitely. Okay, I want a terracotta. I don't know if I have a terracotta. We're gonna have to make one. Let's take this orange. And I don't even know what color. I'll just add some brown to it. Let's see what it looks like. Definitely not gray. Well, maybe. shoes to them. Oh, maybe because I'm right-handed, you're right. Maybe it is. Alright. Again, we have too much paint there, but we just are going to go with it. So this, I would make sure that you do your shadowing. Like, have part of your shadow here and do it again down there. So I laid a heavy thing of paint, and then um, just got water and dry it. Cute. Okay. What next? This is definitely a long one. These have all taken me probably an hour or more to paint, which is silly, I think, but maybe not. Ooh, red mixed in to darken it would be cute. I think it's okay just with the coloring and the style that we're going to, but you could definitely uh, do whatever color you want on your goodies. Okay, that's a lot, so I'm going to rinse my brush out and just have water in it now. And we'll just use this. Oh my goodness, so cute. Okay. 
let's make her pants the same color as her bow. This is definitely a girly girl. And then, what color should we do her shoes too? I'm just going to get water. Yeah, the colors are really light on this one. And I would do completely different if I did another one. Just to try different colors. Like the colors that you use just changes the look of that's what's really cool about our subscription box i send one box and one design and it's really cool to see the way everybody like brings it to life what color should our shoes be what color should our shoes be i was gonna do brown but i don't think brown should we do like a Like a tiny bit of black, and then I can put like black polka dots or something. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. So like the same color as that? No. Let's do in black. We're gonna see. If you don't like it, then don't paint yours black. <laughs> so. Oh, I could have made the shoes the color of her hat. Would that be too much? I feel like that might be a little too much. I don't know. Neighborhood alert. Oh, dense fog. Is it foggy out there? Oh, uh, maybe kind of this morning. I just got, I guess it's worse now. I just got a, notif a notification for dense fog. I literally hardly ever go anywhere. I have to leave my house. I did last night too in the grocery store. Okay, so I want to drag that now. I want to offload my paint and just use water now to drag it. Again, I'm not sure if this is how you're supposed to water paint, but this is what's working for me. Okay, I like that. It's a little bit darker. This one is too much. Okay. I think it's fine. Let's put the dot there. There we go. Okay, now we need a... Oh, we need to lighten it up like this for like her hand and her nose. So let's take this and put a little bit more white in it. Just since we already have it. Oh, that's a perfect color. Okay. Again, we don't need very much of it. Let's get a little bit more in there. cute. Okay, you can see. There you go. It's not white. Just a little bit of color. And I'm not really watercoloring that, like, because it's hard to see the shading since I did it so light. I mean, we could do a little bit of shading. Maybe we'll do that. We'll just grab a little bit of this. The darker color. There we go. And just line that side. Oh, so cute. Okay. Now we need to do do this dark brown.
So this one I'm going to leave a little bit darker just so it's, oh, those are so cute. You can set them right here. I'll show them. Those are cute. I don't know if this is a Q or an O. Oh, we did might I pull have, a We Q? might have pulled the Q instead of the O. Oh, we did. So That's fine. Cut it again. Oh, it's fine. Oliver will never know. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> those are super cute. Yeah. So look, these are not in the shop yet, um, but you can see. We're gonna do, you know what I even thought about doing, Reagan? Yeah. Is making the bottom part wood and using like that pink acrylic over there, that milky pink acrylic mm -hmm. on like a, if you had a girl one. Yeah. And making the P and the ears yeah. acrylic. Well, I also, I thought whenever you first pulled up, I thought it was like, you know how families will have their like last initial? Yeah. Yep. Like big yep. Like that. Oh, that would be cute. We could make a big one though like too. A door type <gasps> oh, we should totally make that into a door hanger. Okay. We're gonna do that. Can you text me that too? Yeah. <laughs> I need to teach you how to do that so you <laughs> can just design it and do it. Yeah, that would be super cute. So you're saying like for us, like we would have an E? Yeah, like just a big E. Yep. That would be really cute. We'll have to do that. That may be an exclusive for the VIP group. That would be fun. <laughs> Debbie said, thank you for all your help, Reagan. Oh, of course. <laughs> I love to do it. Sherwin-Williams would love me on their payroll. That's funny. Well, thank you. I mean, I take that as a compliment. Maybe gray would pull out some white. Yeah, I'm trying to teach Reagan more things. So, it would mean that she's here more. Let's see. She sure does help me though, because I can do things like this for you guys, um, instead of having to be the one that runs the laser too. So it's such a help to have her here. And my mom, she does all the subscription boxes for me. Like they, there's a space there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna end up messing it up if I mess with it too much. Okay, so I've literally used the same brush on this whole thing. So with water coloring, you don't really need a ton of brushes. Okay, it looks like his little digger is bent. <laughs> but maybe he bent it hot in the flowers. Yeah, that looks like it's bent. Oh well. We can bring this over a little bit more, maybe. That looks a little bit better, but. Oh my goodness, you guys, we're almost done, honestly. Um, let's do a very, very, very faint line for each of our, well, I said very, very faint, but that up there doesn't, um, there we go. Oops, they can't go into the pot, like onto the pot anyway. cute now these we're gonna do all green I was even gonna do oh that shouldn't so this dries very quick oh, just so you know that's a whole layer on top that dried that sucks I probably don't even need any more so we'll just let that be <laughs> it's just been left a lot right Mom is just important. She, like, I get a plan and create the subscription boxes. Reagan gets to cut them and my mom gets to pack them with love, so. You love the gnome? I'm glad you like it. So I did email, um, 
the tracer for all of these. Okay, this is where I'm not sure how watercoloring works because, oh, we should have painted his hat there. Oh, well, we'll put a leaf there because I want to do leaves on all these, but it's not going to be a solid color over a color. So the leaves over here are going to look different. So I'm not sure how we're going to fix that, but, or what the right way to do it is. We're going to figure it out. Honestly, I'll probably just do them darker like the handle there. Let's do that. Hey, Simone, how are you? So let's go ahead and make all these darker. That way they all kind of match. Since we're gonna use darker colors on the, the, the leaves, we'll do the same here. So I'm just gonna kind of go like this. It's just gonna be a bunch. And I'm not, I'm not being perfect on these. Okay, let's bring some um, color in here. I can tell you right now that I probably am not gonna love these. Oh well. And that's how you learn, right? So I know what will make these look better is um, the pin work that we're gonna do at the end. That is how we're gonna make these look the way I'm wanting them to and that is not working. So I'm gonna tell you, show you how to fix that. Okay, but we actually want a dark side on each one. So this one has a dark side, so this side needs to be a little darker. This side needs to be a little darker. That looks better. Yeah. That looks better. Okay. Oh my goodness, are we done? Are we actually done? Let's put the, let's put some, um, let's do this. Let's do like some sun right here. Like very, very, very light sun. And we could do a little bit of blue in the sky, but I really don't want to because um, it would clash with this being next to each other. Ooh, that's a lot. Let's just bring a little color to it. You could have definitely done this when it was, when you did the background too. So you can definitely, maybe we should do every side. That might be cute. That's kind of super cute. Let's just go with it. It's gonna take a lot of water on this side. There are a few. Let's just go ahead and blend this down into like their her hat. Let's 
so it's definitely blended. Let's do a tad bit of yellow here to blend in a little bit more. That's good. That's much better. It's probably a little hard for you to see. I'll pull it up to the camera here in a second. Oops, there we did it dark. That's okay. We'll just leave it dark there. The background's actually looking really cute. What time is it? Two or one o'clock? I was going to be like, gosh, it's 2 o'clock? There's no way I've been doing this two hours. It always takes longer when you're learning something, though. I think one of the ways to get out of your creative funks is to teach yourself something. Like, do something different. Go learn something different. If you're in a creative funk, go learn something different. Okay, I like it. Let's dry it. I'm gonna do a little dark edge all around the, the edge here because I'm kind of liking that. Kind of like how we do our signature edge, except not. But that's definitely what it's like. Look, we just did a signature edge with a paintbrush. Oops, that's a lot, but I don't care. I kind of like it, so let's put some more on the edges here. I kind of like it. What do you think? Oh my goodness. Are you doing flowers on the pot? I wasn't going to, they were just gonna be greenery. But I think if we do, we're going to, um, yep, shadows all around. Um, I'll kind of show you what my vision is. I have a vision. What do you think so far? All right, it's almost dry. We're gonna do some line work now. Let's see. You know what I'm actually thinking? I don't know if I've ever used it. A gray. Let's try a gray. This may take a minute to get it. Hold on. I don't know the last time I've used this. Let's take that out and wash it. Probably shouldn't be doing this over my canvas. I'll have an oopsie. I clearly don't learn some things. There we go, it's coming out. Oh yeah, I think this is gonna be cool. It's gonna kinda go with the pastel theme. Yeah. I think that's going to be good. Hopefully our paint pen works. All right, so I'm going to just kind of line. Mm, I don't know if it's dark enough, you guys. It's not dark enough. It needs to be darker. Do I have a darker gray? That's a silver. I do not have a darker gray. Ooh, I do. Let's try that one. That might be the one that I was thinking I was getting. Oh yeah, this one's much better. Yeah, this one's much better. It's wet down here. I need to be careful. 
So we're literally going to outline everything. It's not going to be perfect, but you guys, that's, we don't do perfect here. Just doing a squiggly line. Oh my goodness, this is actually so stinking cute. Now it doesn't matter, even though these are definitely light. I mean, if you looked really, really close, oh, on. if you looked really, really close right here, you could maybe see the graphite paper, but this draws your eye away from it. So even if it shows through, your eye is drawn to that. So all this up here that you can see, you're not going to be able to see it because your eye is going to be drawn. So even if it's still showing some. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Wow, I love it. You know, if I was a really good um, hand letterer, like you could stick a sign, you could just draw, a, maybe we should do that. Draw a, like a metal stem here and put a sign above it that says like, um, happy spring or something like that. What pen am I using? This is a Thule Art. Oh, the letters. <laughs> you guys, I don't think I told you. I don't think we finished talking about it. So these are going to be... Yeah, we got totally distracted. So here's a J. There's going to be one for every letter of the alphabet. Um, these will probably be in the shop next week. Um, I just got to make sure I can what the best timing is to get you so you get them by Easter. But you have a J on an overlay. Again, every letter of the alphabet, this does go in here. And a little bunny tail. And you see this right here. So they're tags for Easter baskets. You can tie a bow. Yeah, aren't they so cute? I can picture these all painted up for all the grandkids or your kids. I mean, my kids would still love getting this. Well, I take that back. Alicia would probably still want a Easter basket. The boys don't care. The boys are like, just give me it, what you usually put inside of the Easter basket, like the money. <laughs> Gift cards. Okay, let's go back to this. I'm super excited. Those are cute. I need to paint them up and yeah. I need to make up a cute little Easter basket. So that's what I have to do if I need to be in the shop next week so I can have some cute pictures of them on Easter baskets. Okay, so for this one, let's do a little bit of the lines, the stems, and the hearts. I missed a spot right there that should have been um, like paint. I mean, I could try and go back in, but I wasn't going to worry about it, but it's just going to take very, very little. See, even that's probably too much. <laughs> Told you it's just going to take, oh no, do you see what we just did? I cannot believe I just did that. <laughs> well, this is a happy mistake that Bob Ross talks about, I guess, right? So now we gotta figure out how I did that. I had wet. See, I wasn't planning on doing this, you guys, but I guess that's what we're doing now, right? 
We might really like it though. How much do we want? Okay, I think we go with that. Was not planning on that being on there, but since I screwed it up, it had to be. Yeah, we don't like that at all. That looks like a um, what am I thinking? Looks like pimples on it. <laughs> that does not look good. So let's blend them out some. That way they're not so transparent. Or you want them more transparent. up mission abort or is that what it is abort mission not my favorite but it's what happens when you drop paint on it and you screw up your background <laughs> measles yes that's what it was reminding me of measles see i wasn't the only one that thought that it looked ridiculous i thought this is ugly that's funny Oh, that would have been cute. It sounds like Reagan needs to come on and paint. She told me the other day, I'm not as creative as you. And I was like, I bet you are. So, so far she's giving me the idea of putting these into a door hanger. See? to color in the uh, parts. That would look better. Um, So this is what I don't know what to do with acrylic right now, okay? Because that side where those are has the pink behind it. You see what I was saying? Let's see? Let's make the hearts this bright color. Let's do that. So we're going to use this without it being watered down. to our hat. Maybe we'll highlight him with some white. That's what we'll do. We'll highlight that edge. I should have done them red, but oh well. This is where we're going to take our white. And highlight this 
side. done gray. I'm going to do black. I'm just going to go over and you're still going to be able to see some gray. But I don't care. It's just going to give it another kind of dimension. I just like the I think it makes it stand out a little bit more. You can definitely see definition more with the black pen. You could barely see the gray pen. So again, if you like the softest co softer color of the gray pen, you could totally do that. I just like it. Darker. I'm literally scribbling lines, you guys. That's literally all we're doing is scribbling lines. Let's just do a few of these here. Not all of them. you could even trace with white. There we go. There's your painting for the day. Take it and run with it. I totally would have avoided all of the pink in here, um, but it's fine. Um, we had to go with it because I flung it on. I probably could have gotten it off, but yeah. 
And you know, here's the thing, we can probably fix that. Let's just go ahead and do this because I don't like it. And I just got way too much out. Let's suck some more of this up. It's not gonna work, so. You like the back outline? Yeah. So we're gonna use a bigger brush now. Let's use this big one. Um, we're just gonna do some a little darker. Okay, and that's all I want. I don't want to add any more color. We're going to bring this color all around. much better. I like that. Except we completely missed this inside here. There we go. Okay. And same here. Okay. I like that much better. Let me dry it and then I'll hold it up. It does give the background some dimension. Yes. I think that turned out cute. So, every creator has just different thought processes through when they're painting something. And so just listen to yours, you know? you the others that we've done okay here's your day four. Oh, it looks so much springier now with our yellow background oh I like it that was today this was yesterday isn't she adorable this was Sunday oh we got two yellow I think we need to mix it up can you guys tell I'm ready for spring <laughs> I want some yellow Sun and then this was day one. Love it. My goodness. We're going to leave this one on top, though, because it's still a little wet. Oh, hold on. I didn't sign yesterday's or today's. And I want my heart colored in, by the way. I decided that when I um, signed the other one. This one's hard because there's so much texture on here. the edge more like this and I still could have went over to the edge more there you go that's better I like it better closer to the edge than right there I could draw a daisy but there you go so I did give you guys I emailed the tracers thank you Simone 
I emailed all the tracers. And so tomorrow is going to be this painting. Oops, oops, oops. This is tomorrow. We're going to, we're going to make this tomorrow. Um, we're doing these all on canvas. You can do them on wood. You can do them on cardboard. You can do them on a, um, a piece of, uh, like sketch paper. You can do them on anything. Someone recommended doing this one on the front of a birthday card. Um, so you have all five of these tracers that you can have. Um, the rest of them are going to be inside our VIP group because we're going to do 30 days of this. So you guys are going to have those five, which I've emailed, and I'll email again. I'll post them here on the page. But these are some of the others we're going to do inside. We're going to do a bike. Ooh, we've got paint all over these. This is a super cute uh, flamingo. How did we get paint on those? at this mushroom. St. Patrick's Day love. This one is probably my favorite to bring to life. We're going to do this one watercolor just like we did this one. Okay. Can't wait for that one. Here he's going to be sitting in grass. I'm going to teach you guys how to do some grass. Here's one with a carrot hanging off his head. And this is only 12 of them. We're doing 30. So I'm super excited. You can get all the tracers if you're in the VIP group, but these are so much fun, you guys. These are so much fun. I am creating a um, holder so we can put these in and out. I'm going to get that probably cut tomorrow. So, Oh, it's so gloomy here too, Sherry. It is so gloomy here. We went to the grocery store yesterday, and I was like, it's just like gross. It's just gross outside. Like, everything's dirty from the salt and the snow. Everything's dirty. And there was not a blue spot in the sky. It was just all white and gray and blah. That's probably why I've painted two of my last four pieces with so much yellow in them because I'm ready for some sunshine. All right. I love you guys. I will see you soon. Bye.